Hi folks, this is Max from uh, HTCVillHacks.com. Um, so I've got a uh, CM10 Android 4.1.2 running. Uh, one of the probably uh, good developers, Kushtek, on um, on XDA, he actually made this. And uh, looking really, really nice. It's really nice. I love it. Uh, let me turn off the just Wi-Fi to show you 3G is working. 4G should also be working. You can see Android 4.1.2, um, CM10, and um, I'm loving it. It's um, you know, it's good. It's unofficial version, but um, you know, your 4G sh LT should still be working if you have 4G LT. Um, so you should be all good to go. Um, let me kind of walk you through for those of you who never tried the latest CM10. Um, so in the interface, you can go to home screen. Um, change the grid size. Let me show you the grid right now. You see it's 4 by about 4. Um, since we have a lot of space left over, you can probably get this to about 5 by 5 by 6. Um, there you go. So you have more space. Um, you'll be able to put a ton more amps. And that's for the home screen. Um, some other stuff. Resize any widget. This is great. For those widgets that you try to put, um, you can now resize it just simply clicking that on. Uh, more options here. Drawer. Yeah, pretty boring there. Whoops. General auto rotate screen. Um, that's good. And also lock screen. You have a ton of options here. Screen security, background, uh, no, wallpaper. That's not great. Uh, weather, this is great. Enable your weather. Uh, let me just show you 30 minutes. Make sure you put location. Let's try Seoul, Korea. Because um, I'll be going there this week, winter. <laughs> and uh, um, there we go. And uh, uncheck metric if you're used to American, American ways. Um, also, calendar. You can actually pick calendar from um, your your Gmail. I actually have my, one of my other accounts uh, which don't have any account things to do so it might not actually show. In shortcuts you can add up to eight. You can go like this, hit on the empty, hit applications, um, select your favorite application, OK. Make sure you uh, save when you're done. That's it and you can add up to four. And uh, system, um, status bar, this is kinda cool. Brightness control uh, by sliding across um, status bar now you'll be able to hold down and go like this to um whoop is it not working let me try that again oh there you go there you go isn't that cool um so those were added in cm10 uh, the latest cm10 editions 4.1.2 i love it i freaking love it and also you can get a bunch of themes go ahead and download cm10 uh go search for cm10 themes or aokp themes download it it'll show up here apply it um, system, uh, back to system. Sorry, notification drawer. The power widget. You can add more, uh, more. See now it only has four Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and whatever. Now you can add some cool like uh, toggle LT, mobile orientation, and it instantly will show up. And, uh, you, and I think you can add. Yeah, you can add a lot. I love this feature because uh, a lot of the custom ROMs that came with it. Now you can really customize it. You can even change the orders. Um, just very nice there, and uh, more stuff. Uh, hardware keys here. You can you know change the what these actions do. Very easy to do, and that's that's pretty much it. And also performance. You, you can uh, overclock it when there's overclockable kernels. Not yet, but this one is just at stock 1.5. I do recommend actually underclocking if you want to get the best battery life. Like your phone will run fine at 1.35 because you're running CM10. Um, Android 4.1.2. It's gonna still run really fast. Um, so unless you're playing like HD games all day long, try that uh, underclocking. It'll save a ton of battery life. And battery life seems pretty good. Bluetooth, everything working out of the box. Um, very very solid ROM. You might get like a force close when you first install it. Don't worry about it. It goes away. Um, set up and uh, if you have any Wi-Fi problems, also just sign in and uh, reboot, and it usually works just fine. Just you know, you might have first. Uh, first flash jitters, uh, but very solid ROM. Love it. Running it on my HTC Evo 4G LTE. And for those of you on the newer H boot, oh, check out the lock screen also. Um, you can go all the all the way different, all the way. 
You can also enable um, landscape mode in lock screen also. Uh, it's not enabled right now, but it's in the settings somewhere you can do that. Um, so definitely a great ROM and also can for camera camera works too. It's got to. Um, there is burst mode with this so you should be able to um, still get burst mode. Uh, do that and then you can take five shots. There you go. So you don't lose the burst um, ability from a sense based ROM. And also uh, camera should be working just fine. Let's do 1080p here. And it should be working just fine. So check it out, I like it, it's pretty solid, I think this is one of the best Jelly Bean ROMs I've seen, and also you can enjoy the best of latest CM10 and also Android 4.1.2. Anyway, um, if you have an Evo 4 GLT, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at hccvohacks.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more, and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble with your phone and others are willing to help out um, if I'm busy. And also, uh, when you install this, if you have one of the eight newer H boots, you can uh, you might have trouble installing the kernel or the boot image they call it boot.img. Um, I'll have a link to a flash image GUI. You can use that to flash the kernel, the boot image, um, you know, and then install the ROM normally. For those of you on older H boot like myself on Torp, um, you don't need to do any any of that, any of that weird jazz. Um, just install from Torp and you're all good to go. Even on S on. I have S on. I don't need S on. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here. Subscribe button up there and stay high on Android. Yeah. Uh, love it.